Last time I showed you what web hosting is and how you can get started with HostGator. This video, I'm gonna show you how to create a WordPress website in just a few clicks. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Brian Kaplan here with the Bigger Better Biz channel where I equip you with the tools and know-how to grow that bigger, better, small business. Now in my last video, I talked about what is the best hosting for WordPress and I showed you guys HostGator. Now, in order to get to this screen, you would go to briankaplan.com slash gator and I'm showing you right here on the screen, briankaplan.com slash gator. And you'd be shown the different shared web hosting options you have. Now in my last video I told you with our clients we usually go for the business plan. Uh, a little bit more every month but definitely worth it. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and purchased a business plan. So I'm going to log in. So I'll go to customer login. I'm going to go to HostGator customer portal. And it already auto populates with my information which makes it even easier. I'm logging in. So it's loading my customer portal and here I am. Now I created a domain uh, because there's an offer right now if you create an annual plan, you get a free domain. So I created the free domain travelingspeaker.com because I am a public speaker. I not only present for Grow With Google, I present for other companies and I go out on the road when it's safe. So travelingspeaker.com is my domain name. Now, what am I going to do with that? Now, you can see there are different options that I have within this portal. I can manage my SSL. If you'll remember, SSL stands for Secure Socket Layers. It's that little lock that you see at the bottom or the top of the screen. You can see it right here. This means that I am being protected. My information is protected by an SSL certificate. My information is being encrypted rather. So that's an SSL certificate. What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to actually install WordPress. So over here under the control panel, I could set up my emails. I could access my webmail, look at my different files. And remember, if you will, web hosting is where you basically store your code and content. Those are different files. So that would be under my file manager right here. I'm going to install WordPress. So I click on install WordPress. And now it's loading my control panel and it's going to say, okay, select a domain for installation. I'm going to choose traveling speaker. I'll click next install settings. My blog title, well, it's calling it a blog, but really it's a WordPress website, but WordPress is an engine that is driven by a blog. So I'll call it adventures of the traveling speaker. So I filled in the information. I'm going to agree to the terms of service. I clicked install and now WordPress is installing really quick, super quick. And as you can see, it's building up. We got this beautiful little here. There it is. Installation complete in seconds. Okay, great. I can log in now. Okay. I jumped over to my email on Gmail and I found my login and password, which is blurred out of course, for security sake. I'm going to blur this out as well, but I'm going to click on login. Once I type in my information, the computer's thinking, and it is logging in to my domain, travelingspeaker.com. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just built a WordPress site in minutes, thanks to HostGator, which is really cool. So now this means that I have a website that is not published yet, but it is a WordPress website that will live at travelingspeaker.com pretty darn cool. Now, some of the things you can see here, I can try constant contact for free. I'm a huge believer in constant contact and we have more videos about constant contact on this channel. You're going to want to watch them. I'll make sure to put a card up at the top of the screen. So we've got the ability to customize my site or I can change my theme completely. Let's look at the themes. So a theme is the design of your site. It's the look and feel of your site. So let's take a look at the theme. So this is a basic theme. There's 2017, 2016, 2020. Well, let's take a look at 2020. Let's get a live preview here. Okay, so this is a theme. Now a theme is the look and feel, but everything can be changed. The colors, the fonts, all of that. And you can see over here, I have different theme options. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I showed you one, 
how to create a WordPress website very quickly with HostGator. And two, I'm gonna show you how to customize the theme and publish it. I think that's a lot of info for you and just enough to get you started. So we've got our site identity. As we know, I called the website The Adventures of the Traveling Speaker. And we can say meeting and greeting business owners around the country. There we go, that's my little subline. I could create a site icon if I wanted to. Um, I'll just do something really quick. Let's go to my logo and we'll do a quick little logo here. There it is. Now, whenever you upload an image, one thing I want you to do and be cognizant of is the alt text. The alt text is the description of the image. Now, Googlebot and other software, other crawlers do not know what the image is actually saying. And they don't know what the image represents unless you have alt text. So Brian Kaplan is a national speaker and travels the country training small business owners. There we go. I'm gonna select. I'm going to crop the image. And as you can see now, look up here, right at the top of the tab, it just created Brian Kaplan. So I have my little site image right there. Perfect. Now I wanna do colors. My background color right now is a tan. I'm gonna change that. Let's do a blue and then kind of lighten it up a little bit. Header and footer background, white. Okay, so now it changes it to blue, but look how that blue fits with that red. Let's say that we're gonna keep the red. Maybe we do wanna do maybe a tan or maybe a lighter kind of rose color that goes with the red. We have theme options. I can show a search in the header, which means people can search the site. Hey, if I'm gonna be doing a lot of blogging, which I would, a lot of content, I want people to be able to search the site so I can keep that on. I can show the author bio on the different blog posts. I'll do that as well. My cover template. Right now it has a fixed background image. So, okay. Well, it's looking nice enough. I'll keep that. Overlay background color is that red. I'll keep that. We can even change the overlay opacity. Opacity means how transparent is it. And then a background image. We don't have a background image. I could choose one. Let's say that I want to upload a file. There we go. Brian Kaplan is a speaker for the Grow with Google program. There we go. Choose the image. See, so we added this, right? And that's where you're going to kind of, it's trial and error when you're changing this stuff. That doesn't look very good, does it? It's just the back of heads. If I put it right here, okay, you can see me, but still it looks a little off. It's not really working. So I'm just gonna remove that image for now. Different widgets I can add. So I have a footer about this site. Let's see. This may be a good place to introduce yourself. Brian Kaplan is a national speaker. He travels the country presenting on all things small business and digital marketing. You guys are seeing it in real time. I'm building a site. That's done. Great. So if I go all the way down, Brian Kaplan is a national speaker. He travels the country presenting on all things small business and digital marketing. Of course, I could do more, but this is for time's sake. I'm just showing you real quick. Homepage settings. The homepage is going to be what we call, this is the new Umoma opens the doors. We're going to change that. Post page is blogs. That's right. Okay. And then additional CSS is where you get into code and you start really changing things. I'll X out of here so I can go back to my main WordPress dashboard. Traveling speaker slash WordPress 2020 is now live. The SSL certificate will take a little bit of time to start because I just launched my site, but I will have that secure with a lock here and the site what the different changes that I made are now available. Okay, so that's how easy it is to build a WordPress website starting from HostGator hosting. 
And again, to get started, you would go to briankaplan.com slash gator. That's where you'd choose your hosting package and then follow the instructions that I did on this video to start building your site. Of course, there are a lot of details that go into it, you know, a lot of polishing and TLC, but you saw that I created a site in just a few minutes with HostGator and WordPress. Until next time, stay well, and here's to your success. Hey, thanks for watching. You know, Bigger Better Biz is dedicated to equipping you with the tools and know-how to grow a bigger, better small business. It all starts with you. So if you enjoyed the video, please click like below. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. And if it's not too much to ask, subscribe to the channel and click that bell because you'll be notified every time we have a new video to help you grow that bigger, better biz. Here's to your success.